A walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school. Ten times over. All that's left to do is double-check the root. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Mm -hmm. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the blue crow. Looks like the crow has relocated. And took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. It's elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him amidst the trees. I know who it is! <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go! Keep your branches off our pond! <gasps> That's a bog! I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry, how's this for slick? Time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. Ah! He means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it from you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Predictberry and Plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I moved the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream. And the fireflies closer to the water. Now, 
Do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay! I were. Yes! <laughs> I'm your wings and you're my sunshine. We'll soar through skies and know we'll be fine. From storms of wind and hail and water. If we are together, we're so much stronger. <laughs> Thank you for the concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. The Star Globe. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronometer's book. Then the next one is the big dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized! Oh, but I know which one is next! See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results! The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score! <sighs> Whoa! Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it, quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah! Oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the Mouse and the Hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Yay! Yay! Hey, it's the third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on, we need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. <gasps> oh, way to go, Dorma! After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa, it's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. 
Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick. <laughs> now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <laughs> astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> Even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer? Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. He used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? <sighs> I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. <sighs> Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland, not Wondermont. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> The library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be snow. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So 
cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside. There are tiny snowflakes. Uh, I figured out what we must not do. Uh-oh. You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon Winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you! Girls, look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle heart frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast. And he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. Uh, I can't stop shivering. It's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Leon! Let's do Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys, we're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasco, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <laughs> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland Day? Yay! Presents! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. Aunt, that's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa too. <laughs> <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang. Cat's twist. Woo! Watch this. Sauté and fuerte. Like a real ballerina. You've reached new heights. And now this. My signature move. The Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey. Three, four! <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, Put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me? Scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. 
But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Hey! <laughs> Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Enhancer, of course. With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero. Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. Huh. <laughs> uh, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <laughs> uh, well, Professor, isn't it just... Wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea. <laughs> yes, we don't often have days like this at Wondermont when everything is so quiet and peaceful. And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang. So it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your Eldorado leap with a surprise. No problem! That was amazing, that was really! So cool. Well done, Vasco! What a feat! I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> the Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time machine! <laughs> Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. 
That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. Dandelion, like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion. Milk flower? There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa? Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely combs. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! <laughs> Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a comb! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship, after all. Who wants a box, anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So we'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide-and-seek in the bushes. <laughs> Very well then. Now let's go. Here 
Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? Midnight Magic. <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Daria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at A2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's a scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Doma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. Oh, but why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Daria, do something fast! I don't know how!
you all right? We nearly lost Archie, all because of a gemstone. Thank goodness we smashed it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains, who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cast it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? <laughs> Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 dear. Oh. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. The president of the Wondermont administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes. Does that mean it's OK for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dorma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Night, night. Night. Thanks. terrible dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? <laughs> oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. <laughs> Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look. Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm, Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Coach, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop 
Baba Yaga without magic. I've got it. Baba Yaga! <laughs> That's enough! It's me, the Immortal! Stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, you're immortal, miss. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! What spell you're casting? <sighs> Are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I fear you made a small mistake. Just uh, look. What? It says right here. Stop talking. So sorry. You little pest. Let me help you. Go. Yes. Nice Go. catch. <laughs> What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic. We break the rules or lose our school. up the spell! Whoa! Oh, no! My book! Oh. Oh. Too hot? Let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out. But I'll be back. Wow, so cool. Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> my voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Do you Girls, suggest please for stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for magic home economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in a pseudo fairy tale style at the last hmm. moment. Hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. That's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings 
the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! Oh. Professor! Oh. Where is the immortal? Oh. Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Let go of me! I got it! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <coughs> Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! <gasps> I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell? To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! <laughs> Squirreled away. 28... 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me first. Tag, I got you. So what if you did? Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa. <laughs> have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a squirrel. Did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> Dorma! Hello? Dorma, are you there? We give up now. It's not funny, Dorma. She's probably fallen asleep.
That would make sense. Have you tried over here? Oh, as night fell and shadows grew, little Dorma was still playing hide and seek. Ooh. Cut it out, Rooney. I'm safe. I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid? It's pretty open. What is this? <gasps> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Daria, activate! I've got it. All right, stop. Oh! Oh! What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone, and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Daria. Nice, Daria. Not quite. <gasps> Fold you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. If only I had a protective amulet. So what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Please, Hut. <laughs> Let me go. It's not that important for you, is it? There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> you escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust it to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> Girls! Dorm, Dorm, good Dorm, work! Dorm, that was my job. Job. But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swirl! Oh, wow. oh, that's yeah. cute! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind.
Oh no! What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers! Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now! Come back to life! Now move! What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help! You're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying, no need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Ah, huh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Grab her, Professor! No! I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the Professor. It's oh. to be one of our best! Jesus! <laughs> Professor, I'll cut off her escape! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues. Turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um. Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. <laughs>